Hey guys, it's Raquel with Stage Right Secrets, and I am here with Logan Mize. Hi. Hey. Thanks for having me. How's it going? All right. So your EP just came out in May, mm -hmm. and Pawn Shop Guitar. How did we get that name? Uh, so. There's a lyric in one of the songs, Pawn Shop Guitar, and I went through lots and lots of Pawn Shop Guitars in my early days in Nashville. I've been here for about a decade, and uh, there's a lot of times where I would like sell some golf clubs, or tr trade, tr trade some golf clubs for a guitar, so I'd go get a gig, and then after the gig, I would have to pay rent or something, right. so I'd take the guitar back, sell it, and then it was like a cycle that I was in, you know, living in a suburban, and so it seemed fitting that Pawn Shop Guitar was the EP title. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. To make it? Yeah. So, all right. Um, so take me back to when you first moved to Nashville. I know that you were going to school and you were driving down, kind of doing what you had to do. So kind of just take me through that. Like, what made you decide you're like, okay, I finally gotta gotta make the move. We gotta stop driving back and forth. Well, I was I was living about three hours north of here in Illinois, southern Illinois, and I was on the football team there, and I was going to school, but I rarely went to practice or to school. I was just either constantly riding or driving down to play the Bluebird, and um, I had a job driving a dump truck, kind of to pay pay the bills and stuff. But um, yeah, I just. I don't know. I, I had no interest in school, and so I dropped out two years in and, and came down here, and, and I've been here ever since. So yeah. I just kind of had to start feeling my way around and figure out how, to, how this town worked. Yeah, and I mean, I've been here for all of 30 minutes, and it's super cool town, and like, yeah. it seems to be super inspirational. Was it like, like living here and just like your life be completely about music? Like, is it just like help with everything, I imagine, it's, obviously? It's amazing. I mean, you, you get to town, and, and you can just... I didn't know where to go or what to do. I didn't know anybody, so I just went to a bar. And then from there, it's like, you know, then you talk to somebody, and then it just kind of leads you down this, you know, long path that, you know, you, you meet somebody, you start a band, you play some shows, you go on the road. I mean, it's just... It's just been a crazy adventure. All about connections. Yes. Definitely all Definitely. about connections. Now, yeah. do you have a favorite song off of your new EP? I know a lot of people sometimes are like, it's like picking my favorite child. You can't do that. Do you have a song that is your favorite? Uh, man, I, I really do like them all. But there's a song on there called Thank God For You, which is the first one. And that, that was probably, that's probably the most fun, you know, song that we'd be recorded. It was fun to record in the studio. It's fun to play. And uh, it's, got a, it's got a lot of meaning to it for me. Now, where were you when Sony called you and said that they had a radio spot? What were you doing? What were you meeting? Uh, what was oh, going on? I was in, I was actually Yes, I was actually in a studio over in uh, Berry Hill with my friend Paul Ebersold, and um, he, uh, he, he was like one of the producers of Three Doors Down, Sister Hazel, all those guys, and Casual. you know, just dropping the names, and, uh, and uh, so we were hanging out, and we were working on some stuff, and, and Jim Catino called me from Sony, and uh, he's like, hey man, uh, you know, we, we, we reconsidered, and we want you to come back. Which at that point, I was I was kind of committed to being an independent guy. Yeah. I've been an independent guy for so long, so it was really cool to be like, okay, maybe this maybe this is gonna work yeah. out. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So we are lucky to have country fans who are very dedicated and like love the artists and everything. And yeah. I'm sure you've had people fangirl over you. Uh, gosh, There's my many options. Obviously. Yeah, um, just for like, just so I could watch their show every night. Mm -hmm. Either probably Mary Chapin Carpenter, Dwight would be fun, mm -hmm. Gary Allen, um, Patty Loveless, some of the '90s great yeah. females that I was obsessed with and still am. Uh, yeah, I don't know any of those. I, I just really I have so many that I, I'd love to be on tour with. Yeah, well, we'll make it. It'll happen. Yeah. Hopefully. This interview is gonna. Gary Allen's gonna see this, and he's gonna be like, all right, all right. Hey, I can just. I'll come to interviews too every Perfect. single show. We'll hang out. All right, fun. let's yeah. do it. All right, so what's next for you and your brand? What's going on? We're just touring pretty heavily all year, and we, you know, 
we have an EP out, but it'll turn into a full record hopefully later this year. And Do then, we have a date? Do we get some inside scoop? I don't have a date. Okay. No, we're still trying to finish it up. So uh, we'll have a full record that comes out, and then hopefully just uh, you know keep working radio and keep keep coming to shows, and hopefully we'll see you out there. So keep coming to shows, guys. That's basically what. You're getting that's service. that's what we do, yeah. All right, so to stay updated with Stage Right Secrets, be sure to check out our website. Be sure to check out everything on social media. And do you want to plug in your social media right now? You know? uh, yeah, uh, Logan Mize, L-O-G-A-N-M-I-Z-E. -E. That'll lead you to everything. Um, Boom, Twitter, right Facebook, Instagram. There's a website, LoganMize.com. Every basically every Come platform. say hi. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>